Iceland have made it very difficult and expensive, as well as time-consuming, to build a nuclear reactor because of insurance premiums and strict regulations. The nuclear waste stalemate has also added significantly to the difficulties and expenses. What many of us are not aware of is that, more likely than not, we already live within 100 miles of a nuclear waste storage site. Either we don't know this because it's a topic less talked about, or the other way around. If you live in a state where nuclear waste is a more pressing issue like South Carolina, Washington, Nevada, places like that, uh, then you're already acquainted with this often uninvited guest. But either way, we have to put the issue of safe disposal of nuclear waste back on the table. And it should be a concern for every citizen, not just the ones in those states. And if we look closely, very few voices have dominated the debate over this critical issue during the last few decades. Only two nuclear power plants have received license to operate in the last 30 years. Uh, billions of dollars went towards planning a permanent repository for civil nuclear waste in Nevada, but President Obama scrapped it amid uh, strong local opposition uh, as like, the, the NIMBY, not my backyard crowd, uh, raised a, a big ruckus about it. And so in January 11th of this year, the Department of Energy announced a nuclear waste strategy that for the first time includes selecting and constructing at least one temporary centralized storage facility for spent nuclear fuel and other radioactive waste. Uh, the plan also includes selection and construction of at least uh, one permanent geological repository. Uh, the strategy is uh, DOE's plan to implement a year-old report by the 15-member Blue Ribbon Commission on the American Nuclear Future. The commission was created by Energy Secretary Stephen Chu in 2010 to assess radioactive waste options in light of President Barack Obama's decision to cancel construction of the Yucca Mountain Repository. Uh, the DOE uh, and the commission both recommend a major reform to the repository site selection process that uh, Congress established in uh, the 1980s. Uh, the modifications include uh, a phase development approach, uh, more incentives to encourage communities to uh, volunteer to be the home of a radioactive waste site, uh, and the creation of a non-government uh, organization to direct the overall radioactive waste handling process. Uh, such changes will require new legislation. Uh, several members of the Senate have, have offered to do so. However, in the House of Representatives, most Republicans, including Fred Upton, a Republican from Michigan and also chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, have criticized Department of Energy and the Commission for failing to restart Yoka Mountain. That choice, however, was specifically ruled out in Obama's charge to the Commission. Upton was quoted as saying, if politics are allowed to derail a project set forth in 1983, there is no reason to believe this new effort will be any more successful. He continued by adding, We have the responsibility under the law to pursue Yucca Mountain as the nation's long-term nuclear waste solution. It has been uh, reported that a group of senior senators from both parties uh, have found common ground as its members work on a bill to overhaul the U.S. nuclear waste program. Uh, Word in Washington is that they'll make a priority this year. Um, I think it's uh, Senator R Rob Wyden, uh, the Oregon Democrat, who heads the Senate Energy and uh, Natural Resources Commission, uh, who said he and three other senators would produce a draft bill over the next four weeks dealing with long-term storage of nuclear materials left over from power plants and weapon programs. Now. As you know, uh, Congress has previously approved uh, Nevada's uh, Yucca Mountain as a place to bury the country's nuclear waste. Uh, but the Obama administration said it wasn't workable. There are a lot of people who say he faced a lot of pressure by uh, Nevada's politicians, including uh, Senate Majority Leader uh, Harry Reid. But even if the Senate were to pass a bill, the House has been reluctant to take up the issue without uh, movement toward opening the Yucca Mountain facility. Uh, they're fixated on that. Uh, you know, considering how important nuclear energy is to energy policies uh, laid out by politicians, one has to wonder why uh, no administration is passed uh, properly dealt with nuclear waste. And another issue many are concerned with is that this, like other concerns, is fixated in a bipartisan stalemate. 
Yeah, I think it's really frustrating that as a citizen, there's nothing I can do, and all of these politicians are just stuck in their petty ways, and important environmental issues are just being completely passed over every day. Uh, sure, yeah, I think we don't pay enough attention to it, it's going to pile up and then it's going to be too big of an issue by the time we realize it, kind of like a lot of things in our society. Um, there's two sides to it. One, from a congressional standpoint in the United States, it's terrible that we're in this partisan gridlock and we're not able to get anything done. Um, you know, I wish that both sides would work together more so that we would be able to accomplish more as a, as a government, as a, as a country instead of just totally voting with your party and not compromising at all and not trying to improve on the, circum the certain circumstances. By law, the government is responsible for taking this waste and storing it permanently deep underground. Uh, it's been collecting money through fees on electricity bills for this purpose since uh, 1983 uh, and should have begun disposable in 1998, but it hasn't. Uh, this is partly thanks to a set of legal and technical challenges Nevada's Yucca Mountain faced. Uh, it remains half-built, a $15 billion empty hole in the ground. This just isn't a security threat. It's also jeopardizing our domestic energy production. At one point, we thought this was about to change following the damage to the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. I mean, the images were frightening, if you've seen them. And for many, it touched a very raw nerve to see the evacuated homes surrounding the plant, people having to leave, matters like that. Um, and the reinvigorated debate that we were all expecting to happen, it never happened. And there was always something else to, to push this story to the back of the news. Last year, it was reported that Chinese scientists have mastered the technology for reprocessing fuel from nuclear power plants. This would potentially boost their supplies of carbon-free electricity to keep the country's economy booming. The breakthrough will extend by many times the amount of power that can be generated from China's nuclear plants, as fertile material are recovered to be new fuel. The details of the process the Chinese scientists developed after 20 years of work are being kept secret. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really frightening that we don't even have a recycling program and, and that international countries are much more efficient and we're kind of stuck in this routine. Um, I think it's a possibility that they could replace us, but I also think that it's something that we are keeping on the front burners, so we're trying to come up with ideas and ways to stay ahead of them. In the short run, you know, obviously the U.S. has a, an advantage because we are the leading producer of nuclear energy in the world. However, like in business, if our competitors find a way